Sell? That depends on how badly you want them. What'll you give? Let's talk. <laughs> hey, Shane, you must want that coat an awful lot to come to me for. What do you offer? Fifty dollars. For an Appaloosa? <laughs> well, he's worth a lot more. I'd say, uh, two hundred. Riker, I'm not haggling with you. Fifty dollars is all I've got. Take it or leave it. I'll leave it. Jane! You know, there's one thing I can't figure out. Why do you want that colt? It's no use to you on a farm. That's my business. Because if you want that colt bad, real bad, I think we can work out a deal. You come to work for me on the ranch. One month's wages and your $50. I'll let you have them for that. I got a job. And I got the colt. Mighty fine animal. He's worth a little sweat. stable. Leave him where he is. One month. Sold. Move my gear in tonight. Hey, farmer. I want you off of this place in a hurry. You better fill him in. Shane, one month to pay for the coat. Well, I'm against that, Mr. Riker. There's foreman here, I can't work with him. You learn or I'll get myself a new foreman. More than one way to skin a cat.
keep out here tonight, Mom? No, you may not. You can see the colt tomorrow, and Shane can teach you how to take care of it. Now, Tom can do that just as well as me. I'm going to be kind of busy. Doing what? I promised to do some work for Riker. It's an agreement we came to about the colt. Oh, Shane. Come on, Joy. Let's get you to bed. That way you can start on the cold early tomorrow morning. You'll still be living with us, won't you, Shane? Yep, same as ever. Huh. Really mind, Shane? Yep. If you promise to feed him, take care of him, curry him, bed him down at night, think you can handle all that? I'll sure try. Well, I guess I can't ask for any more than that. Good night. Shane, how long are you going to be working over at Roof Rikers? Just a month. It's a long time. It'll be over before you know it. Shane, when you were eight, did you have a cold? No. Did you want one? More than anything in the world. Then that's how you knew, right? Yeah. That's how I knew. When do you have to be at Rikers? We'll make you over tonight. Start in the morning. Shane, you didn't have to. Yes, I did have to. Riker wouldn't make any other deal. But it's just a cold. No, it's not just a cold. Not for Joy. It's a friend. It's not something, it's someone. When you're eight years old, people are always making you measure up, judging you. And colts are notorious for rarely judging eight-year-old boys. Working for Riker is a mistake. I know it is. Maybe. He'll go to any lengths to get us out of the valley. And he'll fail. Not with you on his place. On his place and on his side are two different things. Good night. Good night. All right, next. Oh, Jingles. Gonna dock you a dollar and a half for that Brandon iron you broke. Well, it was worth more than that, wasn't it, Mr. Rackett? Probably so, but a good hand's worth something, too. That should cover it. Thank you. Next. Hey, uh, Ned. Don't drink it all tonight. Thank you. something, mister? Yeah, well, Riker told me to bring my gear into the bunkhouse. I'm working here. Say, you're Shane, ain't you? I thought you worked for a farm family. I do. <laughs> Anybody here smell pig? Evening, Shane. I'm glad you could stop by. Riker. Kyle. Friend of yours? You could say that. All right, man. This here's Shane. He's going to be your new hand. Your bunk's in the corner. Work starts first light and finishes at dark. Kyle gives the orders. I'd just like to see him carried out. Fair enough. Oh, uh, Shane, one more thing. I don't want any brawls around here. First time you lay your hand on one of my men, you're out, finished. That coin have another sign? Sure does. Is that clear? Like rainwater. Better be. You went to the top or the bottom? You sleep wherever you've been sleeping. I'll take what's left. Well, yeah, I get scared being high up, and I don't like being closed in, so you tell me. You mean you don't mind sleeping with pigs, Jingles? Well, I do. You hear me, plowboy? I heard you. Good. Because I want you to hear every order I give the first time. I don't like repeating myself, you hear? You're repeating yourself. I'll, I'll take the top bunk. Is, is that all right? 
Uh, say, is, is that all right? Yeah. That's all right. Thanks. Night, Kyle. Fly pretty good. You all right? Yeah, that's, that's some horse. More horse than we got riders, I'd say. There's one man ain't tried him yet. Hey, Shane. Why? Riker wants you down at the corral. I'm finished here yet. He's got another job for you. Come on. Think of him. Fine looking animal. He's also about the meanest, rankest hammerhead I've ever come across. Now, none of us here have been able to ride him, Shane. You wanna try? Not in particular. Pigs and plows, all he knows, Mr. Riker.
Shouldn't give me any more trouble. Looks like you picked the wrong man to rawhide, Kyle. Sure does. Pigs and plows, huh? North pasture tomorrow. Should be cooler up there. Well, it can't be no hotter than it was today. Want to bet? Well, Appalachia, how's it going? And you must like sitting on a horse instead of walking behind one all day, huh? Views better. Smells the same. You're a little confused. Your gear's over there. Well, I'm not looking through my gearbox. Look at your old jingles here. I want to borrow some shoe polish. Ask. Well, that's all right. Claude wants to do the right thing, don't you? You mind if I borrow some shoe polish? No, go right ahead. You know, you didn't have to do that, but thanks anyway. Claude, he, he don't mean nothing. He's just having some fun for himself. At your expense. Well, sure, it's at my expense. Otherwise, it wouldn't be no fun for him. You see, they don't ride me like they ride you. They're scared of you, but me, they, they think I'm funny. I clean out the bar and I tend all the little things, and then they push me around a little and we all laugh. How do you laugh when someone pushes you around? <laughs> and I ain't got no choice. I got no place else to go. See, Shane, I, I don't sit a horse so good anymore, so I gotta stay on here until, well, for as long as I can. And if being pushed around a little keeps me here, I'll let him push. You know, if you really have a hard time doing the work around here, you shouldn't talk about it to strangers. Riker might hear about it. That's true enough, but I figure it's all right to tell a friend. How things, Shane? Things are fine. It's the people that keep giving me trouble. I was gonna play a little poker, you interested? No, thanks. I got other plans. Give my regards to the widow. <laughs> you know, you oughtn't to push him, Claude. Ask Kyle, he can tell you, can't you? Well, I'll tell you one thing. I'm not scared of him. Well, I'll tell you one thing, Kyle. You ought to be. Deal you in?
Shane. Hiya. I waited up for you. Well, now I'm here, so you can go back to sleep. Don't go, Shane. I won't go. I'm right here. Found him in the stable. He just won't let that cold out of his sight. I better get some sleep. He misses you terribly. We all do. Things just don't seem complete without you around. It won't be long. It's been too long already. Sometimes I can't even imagine what we'd do without you. You get by. You managed before I came here. But not the same way. We depend upon you. Sometimes more than we should. Joey and Tom. And me, too. That's nice to hear. It was nice to say. Not just to hint at or talk around. But to say it. Honey, Shane, you and me never had a drink before this. What's this about, Riker? I got a lot of work to do this afternoon. Must be pretty tough on you holding down two jobs at once. I heard that you're working for the Starrets at night. Look, let's not play patty cake. You got something to say, say it. There's a place for you here, Shane. Thanks for the drink. Now hear me out. I know what you're going to say, and you're wasting your time. Oh, no, Shane. You got as much gray as I've got. The one thing you never waste is time. Now, lots of times you said that I was stubborn as a mule. Well, Shane, you know, every mule that's born is the last one. I got no family. All I got is this place. But the nesters haven't plowed up or fenced in. When I came out of here, you could ride for days without ever seeing a fence or a soul. That was a time, Shane. That was a time for a man. It's over. You ought to know that better than anybody else. Nothing you can do will bring it back. That ain't so. Because if I believed that, I'd stop fighting the nesters. You haven't noticed me doing that, now have you? Stream only runs one way, Riker. You can dam it up, but you can't turn it around. I can do anything that I set my mind to. You know, when I came here, they said I couldn't get the Indians out of the valley. Well, you don't see any teepees out there, do you? No, but I see lots of farms. And more every year. The old ways just don't work anymore. And that's a word that nobody likes. Old. Everything that's good is new, that's what they say. Well, it ain't so. I got men that are working for me for 30 years, and they're still good. 
Good men like Jingles. And while the men are still good, the weeds are still good. Yeah, if the men are still good. Shane, throw in with me. Be my foreman. I've seen your work. It's good. You like the life, same as me. There's plenty of good hands around. It's more than being a good hand. I've seen something in you that I haven't seen in a man in a long time. It's something that... I don't have the word for it, but... It's there, same as it is in me. You want to think on it? That was a big drink. Let it go to your head. All I want is that coat. Nothing more. Shame! Could be so good. Years back, maybe so. But our time's over. A gunfighter and an open-range cattleman. You're dead. We're both dead. Why don't you admit it? Finished, huh? Yeah. Well, I've, uh, I've changed my mind. Put him back over there. You just think of that? Yeah. Clean up the mess you just made. You sure make an unlikely living for me. That's not surprising, seeing as I'm not the foreman. Yeah, and you're not gonna be. Wouldn't take the job if you asked me. Did he? I said you. I didn't say anything about he. Like this is my day to be clumsy. A man wouldn't take what I just did to you. A man wouldn't do what you just did. Sure looks like a tornado hit this place. What's been going on? Let me give you a hand. Get out of here, Jingles. Well, you can't just let this stuff lie here. 
One man was put on this job, and one man's going to finish it. Why don't you leave him be? He ain't done nothing to you. Jingles. Well, it's so. He gives you every dirty job the place has got. You're talking yourself right out of a job, old man. Let it drop. Most of you can't rattle before they strike. Shane here, jump me. That the truth, Jingles? Yeah, that's about it. I warned you, Shane. It was part of the deal. Pack your gear, that's all. That coat here first thing in the morning. This is good for you. It makes your coat shine like anything. But it tickles. Hi, Shane. We all of them at Rikers? Do you want to help me curry them? No, I don't think so, Joey. How long will it be before I can ride him? A long time, Joey. How come? He's getting big enough. Grandpa said so. Well, it's not a question of how big he's getting. Ribbons isn't your pony. Yes, he is. You gave him to me. You're teasing. No, I'm not, Joey. I don't work for Mr. Riker anymore, so we gotta give him back. Why? What happened? I got in a fight. Oh, Shane. I know it's hard for you to understand, but that's the way it is, Joy. I'm sorry. couple of days. Joey's age, you bounce back pretty quick. Maybe if I told Riker what really happened. He wouldn't believe me, not over his own foreman. Tom, will you go out and tell Joey it's nearly bedtime? I'll tell him. All right. Mom says it's about bedtime. In a minute. Mad at me, aren't you? I don't know. Well, I gave you a coat. Now I'm telling you I have to give it back. I think I'd be mad if I was you. Shane, did you have to get in a fight at Mr. Riker's? Really have to? Well, another man needed some help. Somebody who's picking on him? Like a bully? That's about right. Shane, I was lonesome for you when you were over at Mr. Riker's. But now I'm going to be lonesome for my cold. I didn't mean for it to turn out this way. We were just passing by, Shane. We thought we'd pick up the cold. Save you a trip. I'll bring him over tomorrow. No, you won't. It's Riker's cold. We're taking it now. Ribbons. Ribbons, that's his name, huh? I'll tell Mr. Riker that. That's my name for him. You tell Mr. Riker to think of his own name. All right, Banny Rooster. I'll tell Mr. Riker that then. Come on. Joya! Let me go! Joya! 
boy. No, 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 no. Let him alone. Sometimes tears are better than talk, honey. Well, I, I thought shame would make him understand. Yeah, I, I did too, but sometimes a halo doesn't have to drop too far before it becomes a noose. Jingles, you ain't on the betting. What betting? Well, everybody's putting up a dollar for a chance to name the pony. Riker picks one, and that man wins it all. That little kid, he... He didn't want anyone using the name he had picked. You mean you brought that pony back? Mm-hmm. God's well, putting him away right now. You could have let the boy have the pony for another night. Yeah, I could have. But I didn't. Wait a minute, where are you going? Never mind. Jingles, come back here. Jingles! This ain't no palace, but at least he got some privacy. And that's more than you can say for being in that bunkhouse over at Rikers. What are you doing here? That's what I hate the most. There ain't no privacy. Ah, there's no way for a man to live now, is it? Jingles, what do you want? I want to make this thing right. But the boy and the horse, I mean. Yeah, well, it's a little late for that. No, no, it ain't, Shane. You shouldn't talk like that. Because I've got a way all figured out. The only way is for you to tell Riker I wasn't starting anything when I pulled Kyle off of you. Oh, Shane. Riker ain't in business for my health. I don't know how to do nothing else. So where would a man like me go? What would I do? I got nothing, nobody, except pointing the cow pony in the right direction. I'm 57 years old, and if you add me up, that's the sum. No, sir, I can't tell him. Okay, so you can't tell him. You can't bring the colt back either, so why don't you just ride out, huh? But you don't understand. I got that coat back already. You what? <laughs> I got that coat right out here. Well, I knew the boy upon that pony. It just ain't right to take a pony away from a boy like that. Now, you listen to me. Now, you're going to sober up and wipe that smirk off your face. You understand? Yeah, I understand. When Riker finds out that coat's missing, he's not going to go looking for it. He's going to go looking for me, and he's not going to be alone. Now, we're going to take that coat back. But if he finds out I took it... Well, he's gonna find out, and you're gonna tell him. No, you, you can't make me do I'm it. gonna take you inside. Pour coffee down. Let's go let the take it. Stand up like a man and face it. No! No, thank you, ma'am. I don't want no more. Give him another cup. Mom. Now that Ribbons is here, can I go out and say hello? Nope. You better stay right here. Why? Because he's not our horse. He's stolen. I guess I didn't do the right thing. I guess you didn't. But you will. I'll see to that. Shane! Hey! 
remember, you're going to tell the truth. Shaw. I think you wanted him this bad, Shane. Shane didn't take him. Well, if he didn't, who did? It's right outside his door. That's right, Mr. Riker. I trailed him here. Take your hands off him, Shane. Good work, Jingles. He took that cold. An old man like that. Ask him. Mr. Riker, old codger like me. Now, you know I wouldn't do a thing like that. That tears it. One more step and you're dead, horse thief. The man's talking to you, Jingles. All I did was trail you. I would have caught you, except a man my age just can't keep up. If you weren't an old man, I'd tear you apart. Well, I'm no spring chicken myself, but I'll take a crack at him. Mr. Riker, cover Grandpa there. Claude and I are going to teach the farmer a lesson. Done. Move back, Starrett. an awful lot of punishment, Mr. Riker. He deserves it. Hold it! All right, Claude, you just get over here. Let's make this fight an even one. Why did you take his side? Because I took that pony, Mr. Riker. You never should have fired, Shane. Kyle was lying, and I didn't say anything because I was just too scared. I was afraid you'd turn me out, count on me being too old to pull my weight. You know, I used to hear a preacher telling about original sin. Well, I finally figured out what it is. It's growing old, because nobody ever forgives you for it. Hogwash. You're a cowboy. Nobody's turning you out. Jerky, whiskey, and us. We get better with age. All right, go on out, get back to the place. Yes, sir. You haven't earned that coat yet. Still got two more weeks, Shane. I'll see you in the morning. Shane, no. 
promised Mr. Riker a month, Joey. I'd rather have you than the cold. You sure you know what you're doing? I'm sure. Take the cold, Mr. Riker. 